anything to say about the charges against you? No comment. Breaking news right now at noon. Two former Columbus Zoo officials arraigned in court just hours ago. Former Chief Executive Officer Tom Stolf and former Marketing Director Pete Fingerhut appeared before a Delaware County judge. They're accused of stealing more than $2 million in misspent funds. We are certainly glad you're joining us for 10 TV News at Noon today. I'm Tracy Townsend. 10 TV News reporter Kevin Landers was in court. You saw him in that video. That's where both men entered not guilty pleas. Former Zoo CEO Tom Stolf and former marketing executive Peter Fingerhut entered not guilty pleas today. Both men face multiple charges, including operating a criminal enterprise. According to the Attorney General's office, the indictment alleges that both executives manipulated credit card and check authorization forms for more than a decade using the zoo's public funds for personal use. One instance referenced that the zoo tickets were exchanged for tickets to the Game 6 of the 2016 World Series. On another occasion, Fingerhut is accused of threatening harm to a vendor's business opportunities with the zoo unless he was paid large sums of cash. We spoke to Stolf's attorney following court. It'll be interesting to see um, every transaction that my client did while he worked for the zoo in his different capacities was approved by a committee, was uh, inputted into a budget, and that budget was approved by a finance committee or audit committee, and then it was approved by the board. So it'll be very interesting to see uh, the government's information. Both Stolf and Fingerhut were allowed to leave court without posting bond. Reporting from the Delaware County Courthouse, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Tom Stolf, the former zoo CEO, was indicted on 36 felony charges. Pete Fingerhut, who was the former zoo marketing director, was indicted indicted on 62 felony charges and one misdemeanor charge. We will certainly be continuing our coverage of that. Now, you could remember this. Last week, Greg Bell, the man you see there with his hand raised, another former zoo executive, pleaded guilty. He's agreed to testify against Stolf and Fingerhut. The trial date set for January.